We're here with the Rotolo brothers. We got Ty and Cade, the current welterweight and lightweight grappling champions here at one. Ty's gonna defend his belt against Isaac Michelle, and then we have Cade doing a catchweight wrestling or er, grappling match against Francisco Lowe. Yes. Boys, we're gonna start with a rapid fire. So yep. both of y'all just answer as it comes. Cool. Favorite song currently? Cool. Island Breeze on my freshman. Who's that? Uh, Island Breeze. Marks, Marksman. Mark, yeah. Marksman too. Verified chocolate too. That's it. Oh, both are the same. <laughs> Dude, that's it. Honestly, I've been. I've been like, uh, Let's go with it. We'll go. Rapid fire. Go, go. <laughs> yeah. Morning or night workout? Morning. Morning, for sure. Strength or conditioning training? Conditioning. Conditioning. Celebrity crush? We both have girlfriends. Nah, minor. I don't. I haven't even thought about it. Honestly, you speak Ariana Grande or whatever. As of recently, yeah, I'm finding them less attractive. <laughs> yeah. Don't get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. In other words, describe your perfect day. Um, wake up, surf perfect waves, hydrate, <laughs> go train, you know, spearfish, spearfish. Finish, finish today with a little Another. training with the fam. Just good vibes. Yeah, well, yeah, small little training and then surf exactly. again. Sunset. There you go. Perfect. Okay, day. if you guys weren't grapplers, what would you do for work? I, I like to think surfing, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would have made it. That's for sure. But uh, no, I, if I had to, to choose one sport, I would have loved to, to give it my all in surfing. You know, that's probably my other favorite sport other than jujitsu. Probably would have been like a semi-professional. Like, yeah, not exactly. quite making a living, but you know, <laughs> like <laughs> just doing your best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, for, I've always liked working on the body a lot, you know, like chiropractics and stuff. So I probably, I'd probably find my way in through there. But I don't, I don't really know, honestly. Maybe surfing too. I try. It's going well here. You don't have to. Exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. Favorite food? Oh, acai. Acai. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Like, yes. yeah. <laughs> um, for me, probably just, just. It's boring, but standard, just like steak, rice, beans. It's like, you can't beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Smoothies. Yeah. I have a smoothie. It's also, right? It's also Brazilian. Yeah, you can't beat it. It's the best. Yeah. And then what are your greatest strengths? Like, outside of fighting and everything? Um, my patience. I'm, very, I'm usually a very patient individual, I'd say. That's one of my weaknesses. Yeah. His <laughs> yeah. Sure. He's got a lot more patience than me, that's for sure. Um, what, what would you say about, let's do that one for each other, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like your greatest to, strength? Yeah. Hmm. Just your, your, uh, the way you like to back up the people that you love, you know? Yeah. Like, you're, you're, you'll kill for anyone, you know, yeah. that you love, you know, for no sure. matter what. I'm crying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Reliable. true. Yeah, yeah. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, you guys both have a fight coming up. How was your camp? Were you doing it in Costa Rica? I wish. I wish. No, that's all you were doing back home, and yeah, we were, uh, we had some tough fights coming up, and we couldn't get as many great training partners out to Costa, you know. Yeah. So we just decided to do this one back home, and uh, yeah, the camp was just training with my brother. He did a lot of gi stuff, you know, and coming into this, so we've just been, uh, honestly, the schedule's been all over the place. We so just, you over. know, at the end of the day, it's just all mental, you know. So as long as we're feeling physically ready and then mentally prepared, then we're on. Yeah. And Kate, you know, we saw you last in Japan. You just defended your title. What did you do to celebrate? Take time off? What did you do? Honestly, there, was, there wasn't even too much of a celebration. It was kind of right back into the horse. Uh, I, I took a, a last minute gi match. So it was a, a little bit of gi training and then I did a, a gi match. So uh, it was against like the number five ranked gi guy at my weight. So it was a good little, you know, step into the, into the gi. Um, I was hoping to do Worlds this year. I don't know if it's going to happen, but uh, yeah, not too much celebration. I, I, we've been saving it. We, we got every time we want to celebrate, there's something coming up, something coming up. So uh, definitely in the near future, we'll have year, to let us get back one. to Costa Rica. Big Rager. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And okay, Ty, you know, you've been wanting to fight Isaac. You've been calling him out. Right now he's ranked number two, full grappling. You're number one. Are you excited to really kind of be tested, pushed to your limits, and, and to show your technical capabilities? Yeah, 100%. I was telling Mitch earlier, I'm excited to fight someone who is going to come to fight me, you know? I know he's very aggressive, and uh, any time that someone I is that aggressive, it makes me mad, you know? And, and sometimes I fight, I, I win, I feel like I don't get to pull out that inner kind of beast, you know? And I know Isaac's going to pull that out for me, you know? Yeah. So it's going to be it's gonna be an arty one. Raise the level. If he's really strong in wrestling, how do you plan to combat that? Uh, with better wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's it. Take down pass submit. Yeah, and Cade, okay, so you're not here doing a title fight, it's catch weight, um, but Lowe's probably one of your harder opponents here at one. Yeah. I feel like you have a lot to prove. Absolutely, yeah, 100%. This is a, a big one for me personally as well. I think uh, 
it's for sure probably my toughest matchup on, on one championship. I think it's safe to say that. Um, you know, he's got a lot of big wins over you know, high level competitors, even, even ADCC veterans, guys like you know William Tackett, uh, Oliver Taza, submission wins, uh, Jacob Couch. So uh, he's very tough, and I, I think it's safe to say probably my toughest matchup on one championship for sure. Yeah, and what's your strategy going in with him? I mean, I feel like. It's, I don't want to say the board response is kind of the same always, right? It's, 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 it doesn't change too much. It's take down, pass, and submit. You know, I think my competitor, he's kind of a bit of a question mark in a sense where he's well-rounded and he has submissions kind of everywhere from on bottom, from on top. Um, so it's, it's kind of an intriguing mashup. So as far as like a game plan goes, there's not really too much other than what we always kind of stick to, take down, pass, submit. But I wouldn't be surprised if the fight's going all over like most of them do anyways. <laughs> Snake Diaz would say, go in there, hit him with some good shit. <laughs> like somebody get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and where do you think you stand out over him? What's your advantage? Um, I definitely think uh, I'm definitely more of a grindier competitor. I think uh, you know, kind of just more, uh, you know, more man, or I don't know how you explain that. Just more physical, you know. Um, I think uh, you know he, he has the size advantage on me, but it, you know, when it comes up to the mental, I don't think anyone's stronger than my brother and I. And it comes up to jujitsu. Um, so I think I'm gonna be able to outgrind him, you know, get him on his back and, and put him in uncomfortable positions. He, he tends to snipe those submissions when he's feeling comfortable and feeling himself. So uh, keep him out of that groove. Yeah. And if you can predict, how, how are you gonna submit him? It's a tough one. You know, something tell, is telling me that I have a feeling about a leg lock this time around. I don't know why. I'm not even really always going for leg locks. It's a, I don't even really like leg locks, but something's <laughs> telling me, like, I think I can catch him with a leg lock. So either a leg or I can never give up on my, my classic darts. Right? Yeah. <laughs> if you had to predict what, like heel hook, knee bar, toe hold? Like heel hook. Heel, hook? Feels, yeah. heel hook or knee bar if it was a leg inside, lock. Inside, outside? Probably inside. Probably. Okay, inside. I like outside, outside. outside heel hook, knee bar, possibly. You that one too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I asked that way if you do it. We have both. Hey, there you go. Exactly. Yeah, you go, exactly. Just clip the right one. <laughs> yeah. We knew it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Ty, you know, where do you think you stand out on the show? Um, I think that uh, I just have better technique, you know, in my guard and in the wrestling department overall, you know. I, not to take anything away from him. He's amazing at what he does. You know, he's a beast. He's aggressive. But uh, I generally think, I mean, I've been doing jiu-jitsu every single day of my life since I was three years old. You know, some of the best of the best. So, and with my brother along with me, you know. So, uh, yeah, I think that uh, wherever the match goes, I'm going to be technically better than him in the most humble way possible. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, one's starting to elevate the grappling division, you know, bringing in two top ten low grappling ring athletes here. Right, yes. How does it feel to, like, see it evolve and be a part of that? Oh, I'm so stoked and so grateful. You yes. know, uh, at the end of the day, like, I love coming and making so much money on one, of course, you know, it makes me so <laughs> happy. Who would have loved the that, The family, right? I mean, we built our dream gym because of it, you know, and, uh, but there was a little feeling of, like, I feel like I need to beat the best in the world, you know, and uh, I was fighting a lot of, the, of really tough guys, but this Isaac Mitchell, this is the toughest match I have so far, yeah. and it's going to feel really good when we're, I do. We're so, like Ty said, so thankful and grateful to one for bringing in, you know, this top talent because, you know, as much as, like Ty said, you know, the money's great and, and, and you know, the, the accolades and you know, the, everything that comes with the winning of, of one championships is amazing, but at the end of the day, you know, we're here to, to fight the best in the world and we want to be the best in the world, so to be the best in the world, you got to fight the best in the world, so thank you so much to one for bringing in some of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. And it's cool too because I know that there's, like I'm really into the jiu-jitsu community. I start, like I visited y'all's gym the first three months. I saw right. Mike Perez. Yeah, yeah, Natalie. just won trials, yeah. yes sir, yeah, that's a huge win. So He's gonna, like, he just checked in the lobby right now, he flew him out right oh, after oh, winning yeah, trials, okay, so yeah, he'll be here as well. Too. Yeah. yeah, so like I know that what one's doing is really special, but like jiu-jitsu, the community's really mean. Yeah. online oh, yeah. so everybody's like oh they're fighting chumps they're this they're that right. it's not true no, but no, in no. this instance it's like no no these are the absolute right. top guys it's not much you could possibly yeah. say at you, this you point you can't right? say anything now. yeah no i completely agree with that for 100%. sure yeah, yeah I'm grateful for that as well yeah it's gonna be crazy let's go it's gonna be a wild weekend okay any final words to your friends family fans out there Oh, just thanks so much to everyone supporting us. First and Friends, foremost, family, our family. And fans, yeah, yeah, just love you all. Thank you guys. Yeah, you guys are the reason why we do this, you know, for sure. Um, massive, huge thank you too to just mom and dad for always, you know. As we always say it, but they're, they're always what keeps us grounded, what keeps us doing what we love to do, and, and we wouldn't be here without them. So, 100%. Yeah, love you guys. <laughs>